Now we've been talking a lot about atmospheric rivers, but what exactly does that mean? Let's head to Bernie Reno to find out more. Well, in tonight's WeatherWise segment, we want to talk about, well, what's occurring in the Northwest, what's called an atmospheric river. Now listen, seems like a lot of things are called atmospheric rivers these days, but this is a bona fide act, uh, atmospheric river that we're getting in the Northwest tonight. It begins with a surge of moisture. Now, we have it showing in the Pacific. You get atmospheric rivers all over the planet where you have a moisture being transported from one location to another, in which case we're showing you in the uh, Western U.S. Oftentimes you get these surges of tropical moisture coming in from the tropical Pacific all the way into the uh, um, uh, inland area. It's just a wind flow over the ocean that can span thousands of miles, by the way. And when you can get that wind flow focused, not a, uh, a large area, but a focused area of moisture, those bands of extreme high moisture are called atmospheric rivers. The stronger the winds, the stronger the atmospheric river. Now, here's the other thing going on, especially in the West. Whenever you can get this moisture being forced inland, what ends up happening is when you have terrain, it is forced to rise what we call orographic lift along the western side of the mountains and with that you get upward motion and you get the intense precipitation to become even more intense. Here's the other key. Most atmospheric rivers, almost all of them, are also accompanied by a surge of tropical moisture. So snow levels, while you do get snow in the mountains, they are typically sky high and flooding is always a concern. If you think about it this way, in an atmospheric river, the moisture isn't spread out, it's consolidated into a single single band. Case in point, take a look at our current uh, atmospheric river. You notice it is a long area of precipitation, but it's not all that wide and all of this moisture is focused into the northwest and that's why we're worried about flooding.